Hello, everybody, and welcome to Bird's Nest Designs. My name is Denise Cox. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Trail, British Columbia, Canada. And today you are watching this video. If you're watching it live, it is Monday, um, November 20th, 2023. Um, I am pre-recording this video as um, I am away from my craft room this week. But I did want to come live for my weekly Monday video to share a fun sketch challenge with you. So I'm going to share this challenge for the week right now. So let me pop that up onto the screen right there. So there is our sketch challenge. Isn't that a fun one? I just love how everything is sort of centered on that card in a straight line. It's very eye appealing and I'm excited to create a card with that today. So um, leave me a comment. I will be checking in on my phone so, to um, comment back and um, answer any questions that you guys may have. But this week, um, while I'm gone, I'm going to be featuring in my recorded videos, the festive and fun stamp set. Um, so this one is super adorable, you guys. Like, I just love this. And if you're like me and you like to color, this one should definitely be on your list. It is just absolutely adorable. All right. So um, I do have a email special going on right now. So if you're on my email list, please be sure to check my Check your emails and get all the information on that. It's an anniversary promo. Um, it's also combined with my cards by mail class, which is going um, on this week as well. So that video will be um, launching at 6 p.m. Pacific time on Wednesday evening. So be sure to get over there and check that out too. Um, and... Yes, yeah, so check your email for all the details on my anniversary promotion. If you're not already on my email list, make sure you sign up. You can head on over to createwithbirdsnest.ca and there's right on the home page, there's a subscribe, um, a link there for you to fill in and get subscribed to my newsletter. And when you do subscribe, you also get a free three card tutorial featuring three of my favorite bundles. Um, so you don't want to miss it. Okay. All right. I am going to flip the camera down and we're going to start stamping. Alrighty, so as I mentioned, we're going to use the Festive and Fun stamp set. This is from the 2023 September to December mini catalog. And we are going to play along with the sketch challenge of the week. So I have got a few um, pieces here already prepped to go along and make this card. Now, all we need for stamps for this one is memento but of course we're going to use quite a few different blends to color in one of these sweet um festive and fun little characters all right so let's get started i'm going to use misty moonlight today uh, misty moonlight cardstock this is one of the colors that came back in the refresh um so i'm going to give that a nice fold there and then I have got some silver foil paper. This is available on the online exclusives. This is like, it's in the silver pack. You get three different colored silver foil. This is the darkest of the three. Um, it does have a tiny bit of like a purple hinge, tinge to it, but we're gonna use that today. Um, we're not gonna layer it on quite yet. We're also gonna be using a piece of um, very Christmas designer series paper. We have got these cute gifts and we've got the green sweater trim. So I'm not sure yet which pattern we're going to use, but we've got that there. Uh, I've got a piece of four by five and a quarter basic white that's gonna go on the inside of the card. We've got a small piece of white that's gonna go below here. And we've got some gorgeous um, white, or it's kind of like a clear ribbon with a silver trim on the edges. Okay, so we've got some great projects, products here <laughs> to play with. All right, uh, let me just go ahead here. So what are we gonna do first? Let's stamp first. So on the bottom here on this piece right there, I'm gonna grab my silicone mat. And then we're gonna use today, we're gonna use this sweet little rhino. So a few weeks back, I think it was the last week of October, I did my cards by mail class and we use this sweet little moose. So I wanna make sure to show you and um, appreciate how wonderful this sweet little rhino is. So let's go ahead, I've got it already mounted here on the block. We're gonna stamp him or her <laughs> with um, memento ink. 
I just love this stamp set. I hope that you guys do too. It's so, so cute. You want to make sure to get your order in too from that mini catalog because um, it's going to be retiring before we know it. So I'm just going to stamp that down on here. Oh, it looks a little close. I hope I get his horn there. Oh, good. Okay, perfect. So there it is. Now let's do some coloring before we start layering all these things together. So I have got quite a selection of blends with me today. I'll put that piece over there. So I've got some red and green, of course, because we are going with Christmas. Um, and then I've got some rhino colors. So I did bring in my, this is Smoky Slate, dark and light. So let's go ahead and start with the rhino and we'll color that one in um, just like this. So I like to color my blends, starting with the dark, kind of outlining everything and then filling it in with the light. To me, that's like an easy way to like shade around it and just get some detail in there. So let me know, how do you guys like to color when you use your blends? Or maybe you're not a fan of the blends, maybe you have a different um, favorite coloring tool. Let me know in the comments what that is. Um, if I'm being totally honest with you, I used to love all of our coloring tools and then these amazing stamping blends came out and I don't use the other ones very much at all. I kind of always gravitate towards these. So I'd like to get into a practice of doing more with the other ones so I can show um, some different techniques to you guys and stuff too. So that may be coming in the new year. But it's hard when you just love one product, right? <laughs> these are definitely my favorite coloring tool. All right, so I'm coloring our rhino. Now I've got this um, the light smoky slate. We're just gonna color this in. So, so cute. I, I'm definitely, definitely gravitate towards the cute little characters at Christmas time. Actually, I shouldn't say Christmas time, all the time. I love the cute little guys, the cute little images. All right, so there's our rhino. Um, I did grab a bit of crumb cake here as well. So for the crumb cake, what I was thinking, we'll color in his little skates here at the bottom. And then I think maybe we'll do the birds crumb cake as well. So I'm just gonna really quickly um, highlight the birds with the dark crumb cake. Oh my gosh, they are adorable too. This whole stamp set just makes me smile. <laughs> so great. All right. Okay, so we've got the light now. I'm just gonna blend those two together. It almost kind of gives them like a yellow tinge. So I thought it was a great color to color these birds. All right. Okay, what else are we going to do here? Uh, I think we're going to use the dark crumb cake to color the sled or the toboggan here. Okay. All right. So cute already. Let's use some gar our granny apple green to color in the wreath. I'm not going to blend this one because I want this to be nice and dark. So we're going to color it with the dark. I really want this to pop. So we'll color the wreath all dark. Oh my gosh, this is going to be adorable. Okay, and then do we want any more green on here? I think maybe we'll color this gift bow over here green. Just to kind of balance it out so we've got green on the right and on the left. All right. Oh, you know what? Let's color this sweet little bird too. Let's color his, his toque. Or for those of you who are watching who, um, I had a comment before that, um, some of the people watching weren't sure what a toque is. A toque is what we call a, a winter hat here in Canada. So I'm coloring his toque green. Then I do have some Misty Moonlight because we want to tie this in with the color we used on the card base. 
Um, so I'm just going to use the light. Now this, these markers, these blends are extremely dark. Um, so I'm going to just use the light one here. I'm not going to bother shading that in. Okay. I'll just, I'm alternating the stripes. And then we're going to use, I think, pool party to fill the remainder in. So we'll keep with that blue kind of scheme. And we'll color this little birdie's toque here and his scarf too. Okay, and then let's color this little gift down here. So I am going to outline this one in the dark because it is a bigger, a bigger piece. So I'll color that. Oh my, this is a little tricky. All right, <laughs> sometimes coloring with the camera directly over top of me, or uh, not over top of me, over top of the project is a little tricky. Okay, so that's that. Thank you all for coming here and watching um, this video. Thank you for your hearts and your comments and your thumbs up. I do so appreciate all of that. And also, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, if you're over there watching me, um, then please subscribe. And Facebook too, join my page, follow it, so you don't miss anything. We always have lots going on. Okay, so I have switched to real red here. And I'm coloring this bow because I thought it would look cute on the that gift. We're going to tie... Um, this little bow over here is going to get colored red as well. Okay, looking good. And then how about some gifts? Let's cover color a few of these gifts. Oh, that was the dark. Color a few of these gifts with the red. Over here, this is so fun. I love coloring. Okay, and you know what? This little birdie needs a red, red earmuffs and red scarf on him. Okay. Blend that in with the light. And then we'll grab the pool party and we're gonna color in with the dark pool party. We're gonna color the remainder of his scarf. And we're going to color that last gift pool party as well. All right. There we go. We got everything, looks like we do. Now I'm just gonna take the light crumb cake and just do a quick little kind of dusting here on the bottom. So we have a bit of color on the bottom there. Now we could also, we could grab the smoky slate and color in the tracks of the toboggan here. There we go. All right, perfect. Okay, let's get rid of these all these blends. Remove the silicone mat for now. All right, so let's go ahead and start layering this up. So let me just flash up there one more time the sketch challenge that we're playing with today. So this is what the challenge looks like. That's our sketch. So if we take go back to my desk here, <laughs> um, we are going to then put this on. So my idea was that this would go here right along the bottom. So let's go ahead and... Um, attach this onto our silver foil. Okay, I should give you the measurements for these two, just in case you guys wanna play along um, and make this card too. So our silver foil is three and three quarters by five and a half. So it's gonna cover the whole um, height of the card. And our little piece of basic white here is three and a half 
by two. Now you could adjust this, obviously, if you wanted to use a different image, adjust this to fit, and then you'll just alter the piece um, of your designer paper. Okay, so here is where we're gonna try and make a decision. So I've got some gift paper which we used last week on the week of Christmas. And speaking of week of Christmas, thank you so, so much for all of you who placed your orders using that host code. I'm going to get your projects out to you as soon as I get home. Um, I'm so excited to get those out to you. Okay, or we can go green. Now it's going to go on Misty Moonlight. Hmm. You know what, I'm kind of liking the green, but let me just flip it over one more time and see. Now, if this was a live video, I'd be asking for your input. So feel free to comment, even though we know this is pre-recorded, and let me know and we'll see if I end up doing it the way you would have. No, you know what, the gifts win. The gifts win because it kind of ties in with the theme down here and the colors a little bit better. So we're gonna go with the gifts. So if that's what you would have chose, then hooray but I do think both both would have looked lovely um okay so let's get that on there so again if you want the measurement of this piece it is three and a half by three and a half um now you can always go to createwithbirdsnest.ca and visit my blog there and I almost always have the measurements um in the post as well as a link to the video tutorial and all that so um Head on over there anytime to get some inspiration and direction. Okay, that piece is done. We've got a very long piece of white ribbon here. I think what I'm gonna do now is tie this. So I'm gonna wrap it around the whole piece. Now this is different than I usually do it. Usually I would just cut a piece, but I do want the ribbon beneath it to be kind of gathered. So I'm just going to wrap that ribbon around and tie it in a bow. And I don't know if this is just me or what, but if I want my the tails of my bow to be down this way, I have to actually turn it the opposite and tie it like I'm tying it upside down. I don't know if that's just me or what, but that's what I have to do. So we're going to do that. Oh dear, it's flipping around here. There we go. See, and then oh now it's now it's wonky. Anyway, we'll fix it up. <laughs> I am just going to, it's not gonna be perfectly um straight. Like, oh my gosh, what's happening here? This is just twisting all over the place. By straight, I mean the bow probably won't go straight across. It'll probably be on a bit of a slant, but that's okay. It's gonna look just cute anyway. So I'm just pulling these. Now we got one tail up and one tail down. <laughs> oh, well, it's all good. It'll look pretty just the same. It's just about getting that nice ribbon there and some sparkle on the silver. All right. And the silver sparkle from the ribbon ties in with the silver foil paper. So those are really crazy um, ribbon tails there. Let's trim those off a bit. And then we'll trim this one too. Okay, we can tweak those a bit more when we're done. Alrighty, so now we're gonna attach that whole piece to the front of our card. Remember I said it was gonna go top to bottom, so we're just centering it horizontally. All right, so there's that. Now we have one more piece to finish off here. So I'm gonna bring in my silicone mat again. We've just got a half inch strip of basic white um, and a sentiment. So I've got happy Christmas wishes, which is from Festive and Fun. Okay, so we've got some great sentiment choices here. We are gonna use this one with some memento ink. And we're just going to stamp that kind of more towards the left a little bit because I'm going to try and flag, I am going to flag the end here. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to flag it. I'm just going to trim it on an angle. Just like that. Simple, easy, and it's 
effective too. So that's that. And then this can go across just, oh, looks like my blade when I cut this could have been a little sharper. So that's going to go straight across like that. Just going to grab some dimensionals because that will look wonderful on there. I will say it's a bit odd pre-recording these videos as opposed to having you guys live because I don't have any comments to respond to. <laughs> but thank you so much for being here um, and watching this video. I look forward to being live with you guys again next week. Okay, so there is our happy Christmas wishes. This sweet little bow, which is kind of going a bit mucky here. That's okay. It'll get flattened over time to you know how it goes. It'll it'll kind of make its place. Um, but I am going to trim that just a wee bit more. Okay, so we've got an insert as well. Let's go ahead and stamp something in there. Let's stamp. Um, a little something for you with lots of love from me. I like that sentiment. So cute. So we'll do that. I've got an extra block sitting here. Bring that memento back in. And this little guy can go right there. Hmm. I just had an idea. Bear with me, guys. I wonder if this is going to work. I was thinking, I don't want to color it again, but I wonder if we just take the rhino and just get the ink pad over top of the gift section so just the back the part that's on the toboggan or the sled let me just kind of stamp that down here oh my goodness yay it worked look how cute that is so now it's going to tie in with the front of the card and you could go ahead and color that too of course um i'm going to leave it just the way it is right now I think you guys have seen me color enough already in this video. Right. So there we go. Now, of course, we need a little bit of bling because Christmas cards, especially, well, all cards, any kind of creation, paper crafting needs some bling. So I have these um, glittered sequins. Last time I checked, they were still available. So if you've been waiting for these guys, they're back and you want to make sure you get those on your next order before they sell out again. So I'm going to take my take a pick tool. What color? I think we're going to use the green. Just something different. Put some. One up there. And maybe we'll put one down here by the wreath. And maybe another one. And it over here. <laughs> so cute. Okay. There we have this fun card for Christmas using the festive and fun stamp set. Isn't it sweet? Love it. I love this one. Okay. I am going to come back onto the screen here. Hello. Thank you again for watching along with me and for being here to stamp with me on this Monday morning. Um, this is the card we just created. Uh, festive and fun. I'm going to flash up here the sketch that we followed along with. Isn't that cute? And um, yeah, I just love the, the visual of that sketch. Okay, so if you want to play along, then um, I am going to post this. I forgot what I was going to say. I'm going to post this in my creative corner. So Bird's Nest Designs Creative Corner Facebook group. So this is not my page. This is my group. Um, and it's posted in there. And you can come along and post your product, product, your project underneath if you play along with the sketch. I love to see what other people are creating too. Um, so please feel free to join in. Um, I will watch for any of you who are new to join the group. And here is the host code. Okay, there's the host code for my anniversary special. So if you've seen the email, and you know what I'm talking about. This right here is the code that you need to add to your order. Okay. Um, alrighty. Have a wonderful day. And I will be back. I'll have another pre recorded video for you Wednesday 6pm Pacific time, which will be my cards by mail free class. So when you place an order, um, you get those cards for free, which is all wrapped into my anniversary sale for this week. So stay tuned and have a wonderful day. And we'll be back Wednesday evening. Cheers.